In this video, I'm going to talk about something that isn't strictly GTD. I am going to create possible next actions for my Someday Maybe projects. Now, Someday Maybe projects are supposed to be on the back burner, and they are. They are so much on the back burner for me that this insert where I put all of my ideas is kind of a someday maybe graveyard. I have lots of great ideas and projects that just, you know, nothing happens. <laughs> um, yeah, it's where they go to die, basically. And I do want to preface this by saying that you don't always have to create next actions, I think. If you're an intuitive, spontaneous person, sometimes GTD isn't the right way forward. I mean, for work, it is, for me, because I have a lot of deadlines, a lot of projects, and it really helps to have my next actions divided by context and week. Because, you know, if I need to get something finished by this day, then maybe I have to ask someone something by this date and I need to start something here and, you know, I have to sort of uh, backwards engineer everything and that really, you know, GTD helps. But for my home projects, I, I do have project spreads with things I like to accomplish and I do have one next action spread. Uh, but most of it is not time specific, which means most of it is in this someday maybe insert or long term planning insert. And I do read through these lists. I, I do my reviews, but you know, uh, nothing much happens after that. Um, and sometimes, you know, you just need a vague goal and you just need to sort of remind yourself regularly that, you know, you want to wallpaper the TV room, for example. And then suddenly one day you feel inspiration and you just start intuitively, spontaneously. And that's okay. You don't need to follow the GTD steps for everything. But then again, I mean... These lists, it's, there's enough in here to last me a lifetime and perhaps even more than that. So if I want to move forward on at least some of these projects, perhaps I need to structure my approach a little. And also these someday maybe lists can make me a bit overwhelmed. Um, because there are so many areas and so many ideas that, you know, where, where do you start? Uh, so I can feel like doing things. I can feel like moving forward on something in this book, but uh, I'm overwhelmed. So that's why I'm creating next actions for someday maybe projects, possible next actions. And... I've been thinking about this, taking notes, um, and I think a lot of my problems stem from having next actions that are too big. And I think I'm not the only one who has this problem. You create next actions that are either, either they consist of several steps or they feel daunting for some reason. They involve things that you'd rather not do, which means they languish in oblivion. So I'm going to break down my Someday Maybe projects into next actions that are tiny, you know, that only take one minute to do. And I'm going to focus on things that I actually might feel like doing. So I'm going to fill this insert with the tiniest possible next actions. So my, my guiding principle is 
how can I move forward on whatever project without spending any energy at all? So I've been thinking about contexts and a few contexts that are kind of self-evident are Google because many times I need to find information, telephone numbers, things of that nature. So Google will be one heading. Ask my husband, also a very self-evident one. Ask other people can also be one. Uh, watch inspiration videos. For example, when it comes to cleaning or renovating, wallpapering, um, it can help to sort of immerse yourself in other people's projects to see how they did it, um, just to get inspired by their pro process and their results. Uh, brainstorming is another one that I probably will need, but I've put in parentheses, but how? You know, brainstorming, do I make a mind map? Do I take a walk and uh, record voice memos? What? I need to break it down further. Uh, and then, I don't know. So, my goal is to fill this up uh, in a day with actionable things that are, you know, I'm go my goal is to, well, when I feel like now I want to move forward on something, I want to do something that future me is going to thank me for, I will go to this insert, I will ask myself, well, what can I stomach doing? Well, I'd like to Google stuff. I can do that. Okay, I go to the Google list and I just Google information on, you know, uh, many different projects. And where do I write down the information I find? I don't know, maybe in this insert or in my Someday Maybe insert. Maybe I go to like renovations and you know the renovations spread and I've say that I've looked up telephone numbers for um, what do you call them handymen you know people electricians uh, people like that plumbers and I write down their telephone numbers here so that is the next action um, quite easy you know calling them on the other hand is uh, not not so much <laughs> Not, not so easy for me. I don't like telephones. Um, but that's the first step, you know. It, psychologically, you've moved forward. And uh, okay, enough blathering about this. I am going to start. I'm just, I am afraid to put pen to paper. It's stupid, but I am. <laughs> so I'm going to take a break, drink some water, and then I'll be back to get going. Okay, let's start. So the first tab in my long-term planning insert has to do with uh, monthly tasks, you know, things that I do every year in January, February and so on. So we are in August right now and I have put fermented herring, a pick, uh, lingonberries, eat crayfish and plant summer flowers inside. Okay, so the eating things, <laughs> I, well, we've already done it and I, it's my husband who does the cooking, so I think I'm going to skip those because they're not a big problem. It will happen um, spontaneously. Picking lingonberries, on the other hand, is a bit of a, not a bore, uh, but a bit of a chore. <laughs> um, so, what is the next step if I want to pick lingonberries? I mean, the problem is that it can be a bit boring. It hurts your back because you're bending over all the time. So, I need maybe a pillow so I can sit on my knees, kneel. Um, I'm not sure if we have a bucket or two buckets for this, 
So, uh, maybe find buckets. So find is actual, actually a very good heading, not only for picking lingonberries, but uh, since we're messy people, both my husband and me, finding things can be the first step to a lot of things, a lot of projects. So I'm gonna put find. So two buckets for lingonberries. And I guess a, a cushion that I'm not afraid to get blueberry stains on. Um, and both of these things, when I find them, I'll put them in the cupboard where we keep cabin stuff. You know, things we should take to the cabin next time we go. So that is the practical stuff. The next thing is, well, why not Google, you know, ergonomics? Like, is there an ergonomic way of picking berries? Um, is that too silly? Uh, no, no. It can also serve as inspiration, actually. But I'm going to put um, on the inspiration list as well. Watch Lingonberry videos. <laughs> and also, maybe um, I, I watch a YouTube channel called Michelle B. And she always talks about how you should revisit your why. So maybe, um, maybe that's the brainstorming context. Um, do I want to make this more detailed? You know, s brainstorming by mind mapping. I do enjoy mind mapping and I do think it helps because I'm kind of a visual person so yeah I'm gonna put mind mapping in the heading because I'm not quite sure because you can buy lingonberries you don't have to pick them yourself why do I want to do it is it you know uh, just a am I sort of being stupid <laughs> or is it something I really want? Okay, so that's enough for the lingonberries. Uh, planting, replanting the summer flowers inside. That's also kind of my husband's job. He's the flower guy in our relationship. But um, I can ask him if we have enough... Um, what's it called? Earth? <laughs> you know, plant, plant soil. And I think that's the first step. Also, we need to find perhaps, um, find, 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 uh, what's it called, pots. And maybe we actually need to buy new pots. So I'm actually going to put that on the, um, because that's always an issue uh, that we don't, uh, yes. That we don't have enough flower pots. Okay. So those are the first steps for planting flowers. Okay, I'm, I am going to check September as well. Oh, let's see. Oh yes, D vitamin. We need to start taking our D vitamin in September, which means, again, I think I need to um, buy them. Buy D vitamin. Um, I also have put buy candles and tea lights. I think we're good, you know, 
we don't need to do that right now. There are a couple of birthdays underneath this post-it. Um, so I do want to commemorate one of them, but I need to, it's quite soon. So I need to make another mind map about what I want to do to, um, you know, to, to give this person um okay and that's it for september i think yeah so next tab is for christmas uh and it's too early to be doing anything about that um i'll start preparing in november except for gifts the sooner you start with gifts, the better. So I think this involves a lot of Googling. Yeah, just to see where I can get things. I also need a check heading, checking things. Not online, but in the house, you know. So I'm going to check what color of perfume is his favorite. Um, what else can I do? Um, okay, so I'm just uh, putting things to do with possible presents. Um, so this is a, a hat. Now I'm talking about the presents even though <laughs> I was covering them up. But well, um, I need to check the size of his head basically or, or the hats um, so that I can Google because I want to make a, a personal hat with personal embroidery on it and other things I'm just going to see where they are sold um, whether there are you know whether things exist <laughs> basically um, Um, so I guess, I mean, that's a start. I'm not going to move on all of these present gift ideas. Um, but there is another person here that I should be thinking about when it comes to presents. So why not make a mind map about that? This is a good idea actually, mind mapping stuff. I don't usually do it, but um, it is a good idea. Okay, so this is my people spread. And I keep a list here of people to keep in touch with and just be aware of in my life. It sounds ridiculous, but it helps me. Um, and Okay, so here I have a list of things we have promised to do for other people or things we'd like to do with other people. So there's this one thing I need to ask my husband where it is. That's a first step. Uh, and which we're going to scan some images for someone. And I don't know which computer is connected to the scanner and actually is there any way of connecting another I mean my own computer to the scanner um, because I don't want to use his computer um, so yes that's that would make my life easier if I found out how to do that um, okay, we're going to 
give someone Downton Abbey, <laughs> basically. But um, we need to sort the discs. Long story. Um, so we need to find um, a CD. Um, well, th this thing that you is like a not a binder, but you keep CD uh, or DVDs in them. Never mind. Also, we have an acquaintance who wants who who uh, needs a lot of. Um, what's it called? Boxes of a certain kind. So we're trying to gather many of these boxes to give her. Okay, the next one is a film night with some people. So I guess this is ask other people. So we have to ask these people if they want to see this movie, watch a movie with us and when and you know do do we have dinner before things of that nature uh, and then my husband is going to start a project with someone else so I'm thinking now the heading is ask my husband maybe a better heading would be talk to my husband. Um, and this one should be the same, I think, because questions and discussions, you know, it doesn't matter, you contact someone. It's the same kind of context. Um, so I'm gonna remind him that he wants to do this because, you know, life is, full of stuff you're busy so you forget the things you your good ideas basically now it's five minutes to nine which means i have to start working <laughs> uh so i'm going to take a break with this but i do want to comment on a couple of things well at least one you can see that i've not been very careful when writing you know i haven't written beautifully to put it bluntly um, and I think it helped that I recorded this and talked myself through it by talking to you um, I just jotted down my ideas and you know I haven't thought about making it pretty and that's kind of the point with this book I want it to be just used I want I I don't want to be scared of using it it's meant to be well kind of a brainstorming book in itself even though there is a specific um, spread for that actually i might use it for the the mind maps on here uh, if i have pages left when i've you know written all my next actions um, it might be good to use it for that and I'm going to keep this insert in here in my planner system so that at any time I can check these lists to see, you know, if I feel like, well, I can Google something now, I go to the Googling list. Maybe I said that already, I'm sorry. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm liking it. Yeah, it's, it's a good start.